Do you ever find yourself in black and white thinking or rigid thinking, an all or nothing mentality and you have ADHD? If so, you're not alone. ADHD and rigid thinking absolutely go hand in hand. And my disclaimer is that ADHD, like everything else, is a spectrum. So depending on how you were raised, the severity of your ADHD, your black and white thinking might be grandiose or it might not really affect your life. For anybody who doesn't know me, my name is Sarah Kelly. I'm an ADHD mindset coach. I come out with videos every single week on everything ADHD and the isms that pair with having ADHD. And today I want to talk about black and white thinking when you have ADHD and how to adopt this gray zone that can really relieve you from the suffering that black and white thinking can can have and also relieve you from the feedback that you are too rigid in your thinking. Rigid thinking is a common challenge for many of us who have ADHD. It can lead to narrow focus, difficulty adapting to change, and the tendency to see things in absolute. However, learning how to embrace the gray zone, the space in between black and white thinking, can really help ADHDers develop a more flexible and open-minded approach to life. Research has shown that people with ADHD have more of a preference for certainty and a lower tolerance for ambiguity. This can lead to a tendency to think in black and white terms, which can be a barrier to creativity, problem solving, and social interaction. Some examples of how black and white thinking can really bite us in the butt as ADHDers is all or nothing thinking, perfectionism, and rigid routines. These patterns of thinking can really get in our way when it comes to adapting to change, considering alternative perspectives, and also taking risks. Learning to embrace the gray zone can offer so many helpful benefits to those of us who have ADHD. By developing a more flexible and open-minded approach to life, individuals can experience increased creativity, open-mindedness, improved problem-solving skills, and greater adaptability. Here are six strategies that you can use today, right now, if you struggle with more rigid or black and white thinking. The first one, and I feel like I preach this in almost every video I do, is practicing mindfulness. Practicing mindfulness and awareness of oneself and even the thoughts that you're having and being more of that voyeur into the thoughts you're having with curiosity instead of judgment can absolutely take you out of black and white thinking. That is the essence of embracing the gray zone. The second one is seeking out new experiences. Trying things that are outside of the normal day to day is a great way to adopt more of that gray zone thinking. And it doesn't have to break the bank. It doesn't have to be an impulsive, massive act. It can be as simple as taking a different route to work you know, um, trying a different restaurant, taking us out of our everyday routine definitely helps us escape the black and white and rigidity that so many of us ADHDers struggle with. If what I'm saying is landing for you, can you do me a favor and like this video and comment so that more ADHDers will see this video as it gets pushed out to more people in the algorithm. Number three is challenging assumptions. This one is huge. To overcome rigid thinking, it's important to challenge your assumptions and beliefs. And this kind of goes back to to, you know, number one, where we're practicing mindfulness, get curious about what you currently believe, especially when it comes to things like rejection, sensitivity, dysphoria, and some of the blanket statements that we get stuck saying to ourselves like, oh, I screw everything up and I'm just lazy and nobody likes me. I mean, I don't know if some of you have heard some of these things, the women that I've worked with and myself, that's absolutely been a reality. Getting curious, does everyone in the world really not like me? Am I really the laziest person in the world? Become that detective or, or even, you know, in a court of law, would these blanket statements stand up? And if you really examine with more so your logical brain rather than your emotional brain, if some of the things that you say to yourself are actually true, you'll quickly see that so many times when we're stuck in our emotional brain, we're not bringing a lot of logic into that internal conversation that we have with ourselves. Number four, and I love this one, and I have to remind myself of it every day, is finding a balance between structure and spontaneity. On the one hand, too much structure can lead to rigidity, 
while too much spontaneity can lead to absolute chaos. And this is something that we do struggle with with our executive dysfunctions as ADHDers. We tend to be very impulsive. If you take the impulsivity, the spontaneity that makes us great, but if it's not honed in and uh, you know structured, can really take us down to making really poor choices and then later on regretting them. So finding the balance between rigidity and spontaneity is huge and it's absolutely the essence of embracing the gray zone. Number five is embracing imperfection. And this one is huge. If you are an ADHD -er and you struggle with perfectionism, that absolutely falls into black and white rigid thinking. Embracing imperfection and learning to tolerate ambiguity can help you develop a more flexible and adaptable mindset. And if you are someone who struggles with perfectionism, I have a video that you can watch after that uh, down below in the comments. My last tip for you today, number six, is to practice self-compassion. It is so important to practice self-compassion throughout this process. There is no point in beating yourself up if you found yourself falling into to black and white thinking or being more rigid and then adding that extra layer of fr uh, friction by you know being judgmental of yourself again this comes back to number three where we're challenging assumptions that we're making if you'd like some more information on the source that i cited that talks about uh, black and white thinking and having adhd that source is linked below this video as well embracing the gray zone can be such a powerful tool for those of us with adhd who do know that we fall into more of that black and white thinking or rigid mindset. It helps us develop a more adaptable and approachable view to life. By practicing mindfulness, seeking out new experiences and challenging assumptions and practicing self-compassion, ADHDers just like yourself and myself can absolutely find balance when we learn how to embrace the gray zone rather than default to black and white thinking tendencies. People with ADHD, just like you and me, can learn how to see the world in a new light. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I really enjoyed making this video. Please let me know in the comments how you are going to uh, escape rigid thinking if it's something that you do, or if you don't struggle with rigid thinking, share that with me too. Again, I don't wanna make blanket statements that every ADHD -er has this experience. If you haven't already, like this video and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos every single week on everything ADHD and the isms that go along with it. I also have a complimentary mindset masterclass linked below this video. You can sign up with your first name and your email. The masterclass is about 45 minutes long and goes over the five pillars to creating lasting change when you have ADHD and you notice that you, your default is more negative feelings or an impaired self-esteem. Thank you so much again for watching this video and I will see you next week in the next one.